What's up ladies and gents, Ghost here, and today i got something a little bit different for you guys. I'm going to be doing a Jet gameplay round here, and I'm going to be doing live commentary whilst I actually play in the Jets. I thought this might be something that it will be interesting for some of you guys to see, since I've been doing Jet tutorials and everybody seems interested in those, but there are really only so many things that I can cram into one video. So hopefully here you can see and uh, hear some of the thoughts behind what I'm sort of deciding to do in a game concerning threats and which targets I should go and take out. So without further ado, I'm going to cut to the in-game commentary here. I'm not the best at live commentary, it's quite difficult for me to do while playing, but uh, nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoy. So I can see when I spawned in here, uh, the enemy stealth jet and the attack jet were both up, so we really want to be wary of them. I don't want to overcommit to taking out any particular target until I really know where the enemy threats are. Now there's a scout heli at the moment. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Okay, there's an LAV over there. I was pretty sure the AA tank is actually somewhere still up on the map. There is a boat down here, and since he's sort of on the shore, we can try and go for him. So we'll try and pick him off here. He's harassing D quite a bit. Uh, it looks like he actually went down to somebody else there. So, job well done. He's not going to be bothering us anymore. Yep, he's he's definitely smoking down there, so he's not going to be causing us any problems. You can probably hear me spamming the keyboard quite a lot here. Uh, that is really me just spamming Q, you know, when I, when I look to the side there. I'm really trying to hit Q and spot up any enemy vehicles that I can. You won't really spot any infantry from this viewpoint. You have to be in first-person mode, and you have to be uh, within a certain range to spot infantry. Okay, so there's an artillery. Looks uh, easy for the pickings there. Uh, we got him disabled. Didn't quite get the kill on him there, so unfortunately that guy is going to get out and escape. But okay, so he he didn't get out. He just waited till the uh, waited till the vehicle exploded and died. That is one of the difficult things in the attack jet is actually to get uh, an entire kill. Bit of infantry on there. We can pick a couple of those snipers off, and I'm actually going to go and try and help out my team here by clearing the rooftop. I can go and drop a couple of JDAMs on there. So. If we just do like that. So. Ah, we didn't get anybody there, unfortunately. Somebody's now locking me, so. We've got to try and figure out who that is before I re engage. It may have been the attack jet. It's pretty unlikely uh, that an attack jet would be running with uh, heat seekers or something of the like. <clears throat> no, it's not. It's definitely not the attack. It's the stealth jet, of course, behind me here. And uh, this guy's actually pretty decent at turning. And now I have two jets to deal with, so I just use my ECM, and I am invisible, but. Uh, i got to deal with these guys quickly and efficiently, otherwise they're going to end up taking me out here. Uh, this is a dangerous game now, because I'm actually into their spawn. I'm about to get hit by missiles. Ugh. Very irritating. Can't actually take out that stealth jet because of the missiles there. Here comes the attack jet. I'm going to go for him anyway, because he's over our spawn. And uh, there he goes. I'm pretty sure there is some sort of a bug in the game as well when it comes to hit registration, especially in the Jets. I experience a lot of the time, um, most of you guys will probably see me doing this sort of commentary if you watch my stream as well while I'm playing, that I often experience where I will be attacking a Jet and really feel like it should be dead by now, but it simply isn't, which is quite, quite frustrating. Anyway, we're now back up to full armor on the Jet. So, there's somebody, a little pesky, pesky sniper. I'm going to go for him a little bit there. There's also a scout heli down there, so... I'll probably try and get him. Generally speaking, the main threats that you want to go for are the ones that can kill you the most. So, obviously, the MAA. Uh, after that, well, actually, before that, the attack jet and the stealth jet even more so. Then the MAA. And then, really, the attack heli and the scout heli can be annoying because they do have heat seekers, after all. There's a lot of snipers on the edge of that roof there. Um, I do have JDAMs equipped at the moment. I kind of wish I had rocket pods. Because I feel they would just be a little bit better, actually. But Let's try and get some kills here with uh, JDAMs. Ah, to no avail. JDAMs are very difficult to use, actually. Uh, but if you can get a good hit with them that connects, you can actually get uh, quite quite a few kills. Ah, 
As you can see, if infantry are spotted up, those guys that are up on the rooftop are quite vulnerable because they're very um, sort of susceptible to me spotting them in the attack tier because they're because they're so high up. And so I'm able to really just pick them off. Attack tier is here, causing trouble. I will try and get him out of the way. There we down he goes. And there is an LAV down there. We'll try and get that guy next. As you can see, it can be difficult to help your team. At the moment, we've got three out of uh, five points. So we are actually winning this game, which is which is nice, you know. Where is that LAV gone? Oh, there's actually an attack boat over here. So we'll try and help out our attack boat. And we get that guy there. I'm being locked again. I believe that is the... It could be the MA in the base. It could also be that scout hilly that's down there on the left. Down goes the hotel there in a spectacular fashion. And they still have C, so I'm going to guess that there's a lot of snipers still up on that rooftop. Let's try and... Uh, well, I was going to go for them. I see the scout heli now, so I'm going to go and try and take him out. Get the scout heli and... Ah! Down we go to the AA there. I wasn't really careful enough. Probably sort of broken off that attack as soon as I started taking damage. But a little bit too much of an overcommitment there. And there we could see, just spotted up, that is where the AA tank is at the moment. So, I'm going to just uh, wait for the jet to spawn again here, guys. Alrighty, so here we are back in the attack jet again. I just saw on the minimap momentarily before I spawned that the enemy attack jet is still up. So, I'm very wary as to where he is. And now I see him on the air radar here. So, I'm going to turn and I'm going to try and go in for the kill here. There he is. He's smoking, so he's already taken some damage, probably from a heat seeker. And he bails. So, we don't need to worry about him anymore. Now, I'm taking damage here. I Okay, it looks like I was taking damage from the attack boat. But I also don't know exactly where the MAA is currently situated. So, I'm going to try and go for that boat. He could have actually died already, for all I know. I think he may have already died. If you can usually see smoke in the water, it's pretty much bound to be a dead attack boat. There's a lot of fire here. This is also another thing that I use uh, this view for. is just to simply look at gunfire. You can see I could spot easily uh, one of the jets up in the sky there. He already dies, so we don't have to worry about him. But, um, yeah. Spotting where incoming fire is coming from is really paramount, you know. To seeing who's attacking you and where the threats are. At the moment, we are actually winning this game pretty heavily. But they do have three control points. And I really want to help out my team. It's kind of hard to help them secure C. Since it's it's uh, an inside building. So really all I can do is bomb the rooftop. And support them in that way. But um, I also have to think about my own my own life. You know, Really in a lot of ways. Uh, being in the attack jet is, is a very selfish job. You kind of have to take out the threats that are imminent to you. Because let's face it. At the end of the day. If you end up dying. Uh, you're not going to be helping your team out at all, are you? Now, this is a great threat to be able to take out. Somebody else got him there, it looks like, with some sort of explosive. So, they didn't even need my help with that one. And once again, we are being locked. Okay, there's a little jet ski down there. Uh, not really sure what he's doing, but let's try and take him out anyway. We don't quite get him. The smaller the target you have to aim at, the more difficult it's going to be. So... Probably infantry, uh, quite difficult to aim at, although they don't move too fast at such a distance. Here we've got an IFV, so we can get him. A couple of kills off there. And he was also assaulting C, so we are actually taking C as you can see now. That was a bit of a mouthful, wasn't it? Alright, so things are looking good here. Really what we want to do is keep these points up, and going close to D and assaulting these points for me is a little bit risky because you're getting close to enemy deployments and things like that and um, if you get spotted up the stationary AA is going to get you as you can see I keep getting locked I keep breaking the lock because I'm getting out of range here is the attack jet I'm going to get him this guy doesn't really seem to know what's going on so he's just most likely yeah he's just going to get killed and here we have a stealth jet coming in I'm going to pop my ECM because I'm afraid that he's got uh, active radar missiles here. And um, boy, is that server text annoying. It is going straight over my goddamn speedometer. I can't even see what my speed is, which is uh, quite annoying there. Sometimes you get a large drop in speed. You really want to see what it is. 
Now this guy seems like he's okay. I've gotten into a bit of a turning battle with him here, which is definitely not good. He switches direction. This could be my advantage. The stealth jets do have superior turning speed to the attack jets, so you've got to really be careful about how you sort of engage them. I really hope I don't have this bug right now again. Ugh. God damn it, no hit markers again. Alright. Now we got a hit markers back. Now we can get on him. And um, we finally get him there. Along with the service star. The best bet when dealing with stealth jets is to actually just try and pop your ECM so that you're invisible and get in behind them and get the kill before they even know what is going on. And the attack jet just spawned. Uh, he's He looks like he's cottoned on to where I am. Yes, he has. He's going for me, so I'm going to try and do a quick turnaround here. And I'm actually being locked by something, which is not good because I didn't think I was anywhere near their deployment. Got rid of those missiles there. I'm going to have to back away from that fight with the attack jet because uh, with, with with somebody locking me from the ground there, I'm probably not going to win that fight. If I get a mobility hit, I'm probably going to die. He's re-engaging me now closer to my spawn, so hopefully I'm going to be able to get him here. He's changed his direction. i to wait for a good opportunity. Got, definitely got some decent damage on him there. Yeah. Down he goes. So what's going on at sea at the moment? You can see that, you know, I really want to help out my team right now. But there are a lot of distractions that really come up in the attack jet. Um, you know, one little dogfight. I mean, it can, it can sometimes last as long as 5 or 10 minutes. I have actually literally experienced that kind of thing. Ah, uh, here comes a stealth jet again. I'm gonna pop my ECM. Uh, I'm not sure if the stealth jet's locking me there or something else, but... Either way, I'm gonna pop my ECM here and uh, try and go in for the kill on the stealth jet. Since I have my ECM on, hopefully he hasn't noticed that I'm behind him. And we get him. That's really the way you want to deal with stealth jets. You have no idea how good the pilot is. And if he's exceptionally good, he's going to be able to outturn you. No questions asked. There is no way that you can outturn a stealth jet if he's playing very well. Um, but really, what you want to do is um, make sure you pop your ECM and just get in straight behind him and take him out before he even knows that you're there. Okay, so I've now been targeted as the HVT, which is going to make things more difficult for me. But... It's going pretty nice here. We've got A, B, and C. 84, uh, sorry, 77 tickets left now for the enemy team. So, it looks like we're going to be winning this one pretty soon here. And it seems that the AA is sitting back in their deployment here. Put my ECM here as I've uh, got missiles on my tail. I'm wondering where those came from. I probably should have checked there. There is a scout heli going over towards C, so... I'm going to go and uh, try and engage him, stop him from taking the roof off of us, because he is pelting the roof there. And this isn't good, because I don't have my ECM up now, and yeah. Apparently, I actually got killed by a rib boat, of all things, but uh, pretty sure those heat seekers came from the MAA. So, we're back in for our final spawn here, guys, and as you can see, we've almost won this one here. 20 tickets left for the enemy team, so there's really no coming back from this. I haven't been assaulting D or E much without the help of my team here, so I've really just been trying to hold C as much as I possibly can. You don't really want to go and engage anything without the support of your team. And here comes the attack jet for one last time. Can we get him? Ah, uh, we don't get him in time there. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Um, I know I've been doing these jet tutorials, 
Um, but there seems to be only really a certain amount of information I can get into each one. So I thought, you know, it might be useful and handy for you guys just to, for me to do a bit of commentary as I'm playing in the jet. And you guys to be able to just sort of see, you know, what I'm thinking as I'm flying around, what I'm thinking about threats, how I'm engaging and all that kind of thing. So it's not really exactly direct tips, but hopefully uh, I've sort of thrown a few tips in there with the commentary and it's been interesting. So not the best score, 17 and 3, but not really the worst either there. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know down below with a like and a comment if you would like to see more of this. I quite enjoyed doing this one. Live commentary is definitely something I'm not maybe the best at, but um, I like and I really enjoyed doing it. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.